I have a booklet outside entitled Islam and the Future of Money, the Gold Dinar and Silver Dirham, Islam and the Future of Money. Um, unfortunately, uh, none of us has complete knowledge, so my knowledge of the subject is constantly increasing. And since I wrote that book, there are now two more chapters to be added to it. <laughs> um, uh, the uh, Bretton Woods monetary system, which gave us the US dollar as the international currency, uh, was uh, backed by gold. Uh, that the US government undertook a responsibility under international law to redeem US dollars for gold at the rate of at the rate of $35 for one ounce of gold. Hmm? So there was some integrity in the US dollar. But only governments could redeem, only governments, not people. That's bogus. Uh, two governments in the world recognize that this was bogus. Two governments in the world stood up to defy them. One belonged to this region of the world, and the other was France, General Charles de Gaulle. He recognized that this was unfair, this was bogus, and he spoke in the French National Assembly against the monetary system. And that's why they took aim at him and they got him out of power. Well, who was the other government? Answer? Ahmad Sukarno. Yeah, you're too young to know it. <laughs> But Ahmad Sukarno recognized that in order for money to have integrity, the Indonesian rupiah had to be redeemable in gold. Indonesia has now buried this knowledge below the ground. You can't find it. They don't want people to know it. But Ahmad Sukarno wanted the Indonesian rupiah to be redeemable in gold. That you could take the rupiah to any bank and you can get gold for it. If Ahmad Sukarno was successful, the Indonesian rupiah would not be in the disgraceful state where it is now. And my daughters would not be slaves. My daughters would not be slaves picking up your garbage. My daughters working for the salary of a slave in Lee Kwan's Ewing to Singapore. Hmm? But who talks about that? So Sukarno took Indonesia out of the UN. May Allah bless him for that. People who have one eye can't understand it. But people who have two eyes would say, may Allah bless him for that. And Ahmad Sukarno took Indonesia out of the IMF. Yes, he did. Hugo Chavez is one of my heroes. He's my next door neighbor. I'm from Trinidad, he's from Venezuela. Hugo Chavez tried to take Venezuela out of the IMF and could not succeed and died. But Sukarno took Indonesia out of the IMF. And that's why the CIA had to put their stuntman Suharto and remove Sukarno. 